I'm so glad you're watching today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be drawing these really cool aerial landscapes. So you'll notice here that the uh, landscape is more of a bird's eye view looking like out of a plane for example or maybe something more magical like a hot air balloon or something really cool. So I am going to do this as a pastel drawing, like soft pastels. So if you have soft pastels, definitely use those. And I'm also going to use pastel paper that is tinted. So obviously this is a digital drawing. Um, and so if you're like, this looks different, um, that's why. So it's easier to control the paper but it's pretty common to find pastel paper that is tinted so if you don't have that and you just have regular drawing paper that will absolutely still work so don't feel like you have to have tinted paper but if you wanted to try out even just construction paper even that would really be just fine Regardless, we will start with some smooth, thin layers. So you can grab a paper towel with your pastels and that can um, help with that smudging process to create a really thin layer. Now, um, so I showed you kind of what that looked like real quick in the sky. I'll add more to the sky later, but that's a good start. So first and foremost, the thing that you need to do though is to sketch things out lightly in pencil. So you can see where I have a really, really loose sketch um, in pencil. And so in order to do that, you know, having a good photo reference, unless you're just randomly able to, um, you know, get up in the air and look down in real life, um, but most likely you will need a um, photo reference. So if you just do a quick Google search um, in if I into some kind of aerial landscape that will most likely um, be good so just be um, paying it really close attention to the different shapes that you see um, as you zoom out for a landscape you're really able to see these really interesting organic shapes or often in, in some of these photos I saw were very geometric actually. So this one was a little bit more organic so you can really see how they're kind of unique, oddly shaped shapes. Um, and sometimes it is a little bit more geometric though. So, um, and then you can just see, I'm putting a pretty thin application of the pastel with different colors, paying close attention to atmospheric perspective in that there's warmer greens and yellows towards the bottom or closer to the viewer and more bluer type of greens. And I've even like kind of layered a purpley blue. Um, on top of the greens that's towards the horizon line and just as a reminder the horizon line is simply where the land meets the sky and that line there in between so i'm adding in a little bit of detail that i'm seeing in my photo reference with pastel though sometimes it can be challenging if you're working on a smaller scale especially to get a lot of detail so give yourself some grace as you're filling in those details um, really look for high contrast, making sure you've got the darker areas, the lighter areas. Um, if you're working on white paper, don't overdo it. Um, and even if you're not working on white paper, also still don't overdo it. Let the paper show through, even if it's like a funky red color. This is a unique opportunity. So the next thing, you know, I could really just leave it how it is, but I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some more bold colors. So you can see here I've started adding in this purple and some brighter orange as a fun way to make it just a little bit more colorful and a little bit um, more unique and more, I wouldn't say abstract, it doesn't look totally abstract or anything, but it is a little different. So it's a fun way to um, just make it a little bit more stylized so uh, that is definitely something to consider as you are working on your project so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you will give it a go and try out a an aerial soft pastel landscape